Hi, it's the internet's best little caffeine reviewer. It's me. I even coincidentally wore my little sweatshirt. It wasn't a coincidence. I purposely picked this out. Everything is intentional. Old men really, really love this sweatshirt. Like whenever I go anywhere, I was um, at a Home Depot and an old guy was like, my wife would love you and your sweatshirt. And I was like, you're right. And I would probably love your wife more than you do. Hi guys, you may have found my channel or you may have recognized me from, or maybe you know me, or maybe you've never seen me before in your entire life. Back in the past, one of my most viewed videos is me reviewing Emma Chamberlain's coffee. Here's the kicker. I called myself a coffee expert. <laughs> and I can't drink coffee, like at all. Like I'm being serious, I can't drink coffee at all anymore. I don't know what it is with me and caffeine in coffee. It, it doesn't, bad things happen, okay? A lot of bad things happen. Matcha doesn't do anything to me at all. Like it's actually amazing for me. I love matcha so much. So when I heard that Miss Emma Chamberlain came out with her own matcha, I was like, I have to buy that immediately and I have to review it and the people need to know, how do I feel about this? Am I a matcha expert? Absolutely. I have a certificate in it. I went to school for it actually. I actually um, went to matcha school. So I'm really, really interested to try out Miss Emma's matcha, especially considering that she has said in the past that she doesn't even really like matcha. If I can find a clip of it, I will show it. I think I really just like the color of it because it's just such a pretty green color. I don't even think I like matcha that much. Actually, I do. She's been teasing that she's been gonna come out with matcha for months now. I bought it. Not only are we reviewing it because it would be a boring video if I just made it and tasted it. I was like, mm, very good or mm, not my favorite, whatever. So at the end of this video, I'm going to be comparing it to two other matchas one of which is my all-time favorite, and then another one which I have not tried, but is at a lower price point. This way you can walk away from this video being like, I wanna buy matcha, and now you can know which one of these three you should get if you wanna buy some. Speaking of buying things, speaking of consumerism, you may be asking yourself, <laughs> like you asked you, what is behind your little mysterious shag? Thank you so much for asking. It's my Ana Luisa collab earrings. I made them. You guys sold out the key earrings within two hours and I cried, I shat myself. It was intense. Um, the shitting, not so much the crying. Thank you so, so, so much. The earrings are restocked. So if you wanna go buy a pair, you can go shop in the link down below because of you, I'm able to buy matcha. So thank you so much. <laughs> Let's get into my little opinions. Stop looking at my chest, eyes up here. And Emma Chamberlain is a really good influencer because she convinced me to buy one of these stupid little bed desks. I was like, I don't need a little bed desk because I don't work from my bed. Like I, I don't want, and now I'm gonna work from my bed. This video is kind of like a little three in one because if you ever wondered how I make matcha, now you're gonna know. See, I don't do any type of measurements. I just kind of wing it every day and somehow it just always works out because I'm perfect. This is my first time ever opening this matcha. Cute. The color of the matcha, I did my nails. Do you like them? Thank you. The color of the matcha is very important. If it's bright green, it's probably gonna be really good. If it's a really dark kind of brownish green, it's probably not gonna be very flavorful. Let's open her up. Wow, not bad. I feel like it doesn't necessarily smell as strong as some other matcha brands that I've had, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. Uh-oh, little matcha on my desk, uh-oh. I can't let it go to waste. Bright green. For my matcha, I use a whole teaspoon because that's just, that's just what I like. You might be like, Nicole, this is not an Adam and Eve sponsored video. I know, but it's very high powered. My whole family's probably like, oh, Nicole's making her silly little videos in her room again. Uh, this is all they hear. Good soup. This is a little bit of so delish French vanilla. First little taste test, Miss Chamberlain. It's good. It's not bad matcha. It's genuinely very good matcha. So the flavor notes for this, there's notes of sweetness and umami with a slight and pleasant bitterness. There's definitely that umami flavor, which I didn't know what that meant <laughs> before, but it does have a little bit of a mushroomy taste to it. Not in a bad way. Like if you don't like mushrooms, I don't think that you wouldn't like this. But then again, I'm a very, very, very big advocate for mushrooms. So I like this matcha, I do. However, I do notice that the aftertaste a little bit is a little bit too bitter and acidic for my liking. Like there's other matcha that the aftertaste is smooth. You don't have that like weird kind of gross taste in your mouth. I like almost immediately have that with this. 
which kind of sucks. It's almost a little bit like you had pennies in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, little pennies, a little bit. I also see that hers is California made, which is just a little bit interesting. While it is fair trade and organic, which is cool, it's just interesting because the other two brands that I'm reviewing are farm from Japan, which is where matcha comes from. While I do like this matcha and I think it's a reasonably priced matcha, $20 is a lot of money, but for matcha, matcha in general is expensive. My downside is that it does remind me of US currency because of the aftertaste. <laughs> I guess I just have a little bit more interest in where is their matcha source from since they are saying it's California made. It's an American coffee company making Japanese tea. So I don't know if this is exactly their specialty. And I just don't know if this first drop necessarily like hit the nail on the head. Maybe there could be some improvements or maybe where they source their matcha from. Like I said, it's not bad. I keep drinking it. I wish that that creamy, rich, like smooth flavor that you get initially would last all throughout rather than turning very tangy. So keep in mind, Chamberlain Coffee only has one size right now and is $20 for 1.5 ounces. All right, let's compare to some other matchas and then I'll also be talking about prices and money and how much each cup would essentially cost you. The next one we will be trying is matcha bar. Out of all the ones I've tried so far, this has been my favorite. Let me have a little sip of Chamberlain Miss Matcha Bar. Wow, they're really different. This one has almost like a stronger matcha kick to it. Like you're like, wow, matcha. And then at the end, smooth, like no aftertaste. Whereas this one is very smooth while drinking it. Not really like that pow of matcha. It's the after that is just so acidic. Matcha bar is $30 if you buy a one-time use, but I do a subscription, so it's only $23 a month, just so you know. I will rate matcha bar a nine out of 10 and Miss Chamberlain, Six out of 10. I'm so sorry. It's the pennies. It's literally the pennies. I'm not saying I sucked on a lot of coins as a child, but I know what a $1 coin tastes like when I taste it, okay? Should I use this as a little mic? Hi. And then the last one at the lowest price point, this is $10. It's Everyday Matcha by Rishi Organic Single Origin from the Kirishima Mountain in Japan. I bought this at Whole Foods. I met a lovely subscriber there, hi Nicole. This one comes in a little, little container before you put it in, which I don't know how I feel about. No. <laughs> that is very bright green. Final taste test. That's crazy. Hold on. <laughs> I feel like I just unlocked like a little secret. <laughs> Everyday matcha by Rishi tastes exactly like Chamberlain coffee without the aftertaste. And it is $10 cheaper. Nicole, how can you taste the difference between these green teas? I've drank a lot of matcha in my day. Okay. These two have that umami, creamy, a warm flavor. Matcha bar has like a tang and a punch to it. It's like, this is matcha. You are drinking matcha right now. Yes, yes. Yes, these two are so similar and taste so alike, except that the Rishi one does not have that tangy penny aftertaste. <laughs> cool discovery there. All right, let's talk prices. I did the little math. That's how much I love you all is that I started doing math and I didn't even cry, okay? The servings on all of these websites are a little bit confusing. This one is saying that you get five to nine servings while Matcha Bar's website saying that you're getting 30 servings per container. I kind of averaged it out. If you're getting 15 servings out of this, you're essentially paying $1.33 per little matcha drink that you make. I'm sure that they have a fantastic team behind their matcha, but at the end of the day, you are buying matcha from a company that specializes in coffee. Keep that in mind. Matcha bar, pricey expensive. If you only get this tin and you do a one-time use, it is $30. But like I said, they have so many different subscription services, which is what I use. You're paying for $2 per cup if you're getting 15 uses out of this tin. Now, personally, I really like matcha bar because I really like the subscription service. I've always really loved the taste and it's been the best one that I've tried so far. However, Everyday Matcha by Rishi really impressed me. This is $10. You can get this at Whole Foods, some other grocery stores. You can also order this online for $10. If you're getting 15 uses out of this, it is 67 cents per cup. Not to mention, I think it is very, very, very similar to the Chamberlain coffee one, minus the pennies. <laughs> no, literally, like the actual money and the taste of pennies in your mouth. 
And the Rishi one also comes from organic tea farmers in Japan, whereas Chamberlain Coffee one does not. What are my conclusions now that I'm a little bit too caffeinated and it's getting deep into the night? <laughs> Before I made this video, I would have been like, oh yeah, absolutely matcha bar. You pay for what you get. Yes, it's pricey, but it's super good. And plus there's a subscription service and it hasn't failed me yet. I really like this one. But after this video, I feel like Rishi may have sold me. After this video, I may be canceling my subscription and switching over because this is like an eight or nine out of 10 stars in my book. First place, Rishi. Second place, Matcha Bar. Third place, Chamberlain Coffee. If you came to this video because you wanted my opinions on Chamberlain Coffee Matcha, now you know. And if you also came to this video looking to try matcha, now you have an affordable option. So I hope that you guys like this video because I did. I have a lot of fun reviewing things and I also um, love anything that involves Little Miss Matcha. I also really fucking love the color green. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go attempt to sleep even though I have a little bit too much caffeine in my body. I'll leave all the links and the little details about all the matchas down in the description box. I hope that you guys like this video. If you have any more things or foods or whatever that you want me to review, I would love to because I love an excuse to just buy an excess amount of little food and then get to try it on camera. Make sure that you subscribe if you wanna be nasty if not you're disgusting. Also make sure you have your bell notifications on so you know every single time I post or else you are gross. If you like this video, please make sure that you leave it a like because it helps me out so much. Also leave a comment on what is your favorite matcha brand because I'm always down to try more. If you wanna follow me on my other social media like Instagram, Twitter, Depop, Spotify, it's just at Nicole Raffi. I'm gonna go now, attempt to sleep. Uh, you guys have no idea how happy I am to have my outro song back. Uh, I didn't have it for a little while because it got copyrighted, but it didn't even get copyrighted by the actual singer of the song. It got copyrighted by someone else. It was a whole fake thing. It really upset me, but now it's back and I'm so happy about it. I love you, goodbye.